What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the DayZ mod, and what this mod does is it pretty much makes Minecraft into DayZ, just like the game DayZ. So let me go ahead and go into my Minecraft here, and I will show you everything that this mod adds and um, what it does and how to use it. So it adds about 13 new items, and it pretty much takes out all the other mobs and adds uh, various different zombies. So to get the DayZ mod, you'll need to create a new world. So you need to go down to create new world, and then more world options, and then go to your world type and change it to DayZ, and then create your new world, and then that will give you your DayZ world. I've already created one, so I'll go ahead and go into this right here. Now all the items that are added, you cannot craft them. You do have to find them. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to creative mode so I can fly around and try to find... Um, some interesting stuff. You can see over here we've got a zombie. Uh, these zombies seem to have half their body torn off. So they pretty much just crawl around. Um, it seems like that's the only zombie that's around here. Oh, there's a tower in the distance. And the towers do have chests on the top of them. I do believe either on top or inside. Yes, they're on top. Um, here's another kind of zombie. Right here. This guy is like a scientist. Zombie. Another crawling one. I believe it adds about three or four zombies. Uh, we also have a house here. Let's go ahead and check out this little house first. So I don't know why some of this stuff is destroyed, but we come to this chest here. You can see I have camo pants now and camo boots, as well as AK-74U magazine. So you will have to go through and find everything to be able to um, survive in this world. And I believe it is like a hardcore world in Minecraft, so once you die, that is pretty much it. You're done. So let's go ahead and go into this tower here. Climb to the top. And we have one chest up here, and we have a full bottle of whiskey, and some chocolate bars. Now since I didn't get any guns or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and cheat and just give myself some. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camo on. All I have is pants and boots, so now half my body is green. And then we will go ahead and just give myself some of the items. I'll show you what the barbed wire does. We have the uh, Makarov, the AK-74U. We're going to need the Makarov ammo. We have a Remington shotgun, and then we're going to need the 12-gauge slugs. So that's the guns it adds. It adds the um, Makarov, AK-74U, and the Remington shotgun. So let me go ahead and show you how these work, or how strong they are. So first off, we'll go with the Makarov, which is just a pistol, and we'll shoot this guy right in the face. The grass block. So that takes two shots. Then we have the AK-74U. Let's go ahead and find another zombie, if we can. I know they're around here. Where'd they go? They heard the gunshots and they booked it. Okay, here we go. Let's go shoot the mag scientist. So that takes two shots as well. I believe the um, shotgun takes one shot. So let's go ahead and try that out. Yeah, so the shotgun is one shot. So that is the... Um, guns. I'll go ahead and surround this guy in some barbed wire. And they pretty much just get stuck in it. And it acts as like a cactus and just destroys them. It's It acts like a cactus and a uh, spider web put together. So you can see it'll slowly, you, you'll get off of it if you're even able to. Now let's go ahead and try and see if I can drink this whiskey. Because it does have an effect. So I'm going to need to like run around actually. Hopefully, and not die. Oh, they're coming after me already. So I need to get my um, 
hunger down so I can drink this. Sorry, this is going to take a little bit, I think. It should go down in a second. Come on, hunger. I need to show the whiskey. Okay, I'm going to get my hunger down, and then I'll be back, and I'll show you the effects of the whiskey. All right, so I've gotten my hunger down. I'm going to go ahead and drink this whiskey here. To show you when you drink it, it starts making Minecraft all wavy, like you're getting drunk, and it starts getting really crazy. And this actually, like, hurts my eyes a bit. Oh, my God. Let's see what happens if I drink another one. Oh, man. This is horrible. So this is what happens when you drink the whiskey. It pretty much makes you just very, very dizzy. This actually is messing with my eyes uh, pretty badly right now. Let's see how long it lasts. Okay, so it gives you strength, and it also gives you nausea, and it lasts for probably about 20 seconds. And it's starting to get dark here. There's some zombies in the distance over there, and there we go. It has worn off. So it gives you a very large amount of drunkenness for a short amount of time. So if you want to, you can go ahead and drink that, but I would highly recommend that you don't if you are around zombies and such, because you will probably die. So this has been the DayZ mod. It's a very interesting mod. It is still in the early workings. I'm sure they'll add more stuff later on. Um, there are a lot more items. Or not a lot more. There's only about 13 items that it adds, such as food, bandages, which uh, heal you fully, and painkillers, which heal about five hearts. So that is the DayZ mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR 70 WinZip. I will be using WinRAR in the tutorial. Then you will need to download Minecraft Forge and the DayZ mod itself. So to download Minecraft Forge and the DayZ mod, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the DayZ mod, this page here will give you all the information on the mod that you'll need. Um, so all the uh, installation stuff, which you really won't need if you're watching this video. <laughs> and then um, all the items and stuff and how to like acquire it which is pretty much you have to just find it at like the huts and towers but you want to come down to download and just go ahead and click on download and it'll bring us over to a list of the files and you want to go ahead and download the latest version and just click on daisy right here and then you'll click on this right here and it will download the mod so that is how to download the daisy mod now for minecraft forge i'll go ahead and give a link to this page in the description and you want to download the universal version and you can either download from adfly or direct whatever you prefer to do keep in mind downloading from adfly will help support the mod creator so that is how to download all the files you'll need to install this mod so when you're ready to install it go ahead and come over to start then type in percent app data percent just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner then go ahead and open up your roaming then open your dot minecraft open your bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinRAR so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR now we will be coming back to your bin later on in the tutorial so go ahead and minimize that for now do not close it so once you have minecraft jar open go ahead and open up minecraft forge and you're gonna want to put all these files into your minecraft jar so the easiest way to do that would be to hold control then hit A and that will highlight everything and then you'll simply drag this all into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft Forge. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that is okay. You can go ahead and just skip this mod, this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes, and that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back, so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now go ahead and open up the daisy folder, and then open up manual install. Now you want to open up resources in your .minecraft folder, then open up new sound, and simply drag the daisy folder in the daisy mod and into your new sound folder. Now you want to go ahead and hit back, and back again. So we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you'll need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder. So if you do not have one already, you'll need to create one. And to do that, you want to simply left click within the .minecraft folder, come down to new, and then select folder. 
and that's what make us a new folder and you want to simply rename it mods so just M O D S no capitalization so once you have your mods folder go ahead and open that up and take the daisy 5.1.2 jar file and drag that into your mods folder now you can go ahead and close down the daisy mod and close down your uh, dot minecraft and that's it you're done installing the mod I know it's a little bit confusing so if you need to you can go back and pause the video wherever you need to to get this mod installed so I hope this video helped you guys out thanks for watching and I will see you guys next